whenever I lock the door, I always have to double check everything before I close the door. Wallet, phone, keys. This is my work bag right now. Uh, because regular work bags are not essential. So I can't buy them in the stores here. So hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work I go. stuff off too. It's gonna be a great day. Let's just make sure that I'm actually attached to my trailer here, do a little tug test. And tug. Hard to do a tug test on the ice. Looks like we're attached. Release the brakes. Okay. Ready to rock and roll. Let's get at it. Everybody's all leaving here at the same time. So how was everybody's weekend? We didn't do much. We relaxed on Saturday. Got some stuff done around the house. And like you saw yesterday on Sunday, we, uh, we had a bonfire on our land. It was nice to get out in the fresh air. Boniface in Winnipeg dropped off what was in our trailer already picking up some more stuff We're gonna take it somewhere else crazy stuff refreshing myself on the city quite a bit here though a lot of uh, city pickups and then we usually deliver it back out into southern Manitoba or wherever it's going that's a green light let's go let's go to see how 
how some neighborhoods have changed and how some have stayed exactly the same. Some have gotten worse. <laughs> to the Red River here. We're facing the Red River. We're on the east side. Very old part of the city. As you may have noticed, these roads were not exactly designed with modern trucks in mind, but we'll make it work. It fits. turn left here but I don't think I need to. I think I can get to where I'm going if I just go straight. I don't know why that guy went around me there. These guys are parked right in the lane. Oh great and now that guy's turning yet. What a mess. Terrible spot to park guys. Terrible. Not right at the traffic light man. A lot of the places where I pick up, I'm not allowed to go inside, which I've talked about before. I don't really mind it. I would just, I would just really like to be present for the loading. That's the only part that kind of bothers me, because if there's any damage done or anything loaded incorrectly or maybe a mistake, they loaded the wrong stuff, I don't know until I, I already pull out of the dock. I always go and double check it then anyway, right? But at that point, I've got to back into the dock again and go in there again. And, it's just an extra step. I guess it's not that bad. Uh, they come out and let me know when they're done and bring me paperwork and stuff. I don't know. I, I guess I'm just more of a hands-on kind of guy. I like to be involved in the process. If it's something that includes me, like putting freight onto the truck I'm in and my trailer, I like to be in there and be a part of it and see how it's all done. Maybe tell them how I want it loaded. But, you know, given this current uh, situation in the world right now uh, people sort of uh, treat you like you're a plague sometimes you know and they don't want to be anywhere near you they don't want you anywhere near them or in their business and understandable I guess given what's going on but we make it we make it work still it's just different now right just, because each individual business has different rules. And sometimes they don't label their rules clearly. So you don't really know. Some of them want you on the dock. Some of them want you in your trailer, but not on the dock. But you gotta go through the dock to get into your trailer. Some of them don't want you in the building at all. So, uh, I mean, as I get more familiar with the places I'm going, I'll probably be able to just know, right, before I even get there, what kind of rules they have. Uh, and we can keep hoping for a day that comes really soon when all of this disappears. I don't know if we're ever going to see that. I don't know if it'll ever go back to the same. It seems that there's people bent on never letting it go back and changing everything and restarting the entire system and doing something totally different. All right, we're all done. They were only supposed to have put two pallets on me. So now I pulled off to an area of the yard where I'm out of the way, and I go back there and check to make sure that what's on my trailer is what's on my paperwork, or what's on my paperwork is what's on my trailer, whichever way you want to look at it. And I also have this really long cord that's attached to the door so I can pull the, the roll-up door down from the ground. I have to make sure that they put that cord into the trailer so that it's not dragging on the ground behind my truck. This truck's a little hard to get out of. I'm going to have to let them know the interior door handle is a... I forgot how confusing Winnipeg streets are. 
way, we want to go this way. But in order to turn left, you got to turn right, and then go around, and then make a left, so that you can make the turn you originally wanted to make. Been spending the morning uh, on the east side of Winnipeg, mostly around St. Boniface, East Kildonan area. Not sure if the majority of you are familiar with Winnipeg, I'm guessing not. East of the river. East of the Red River. is built, you know, so interestingly, we gotta go right 
right through here. Or all the way around. I'm gonna turn on to Portage Avenue here, the main avenue. I would have called it Main Street, but Main Street goes north-south along the river. This goes east-west along the other river. There are two main rivers in Winnipeg. There's the Assiniboine River, which drains into the Red River. And the Red River heads up north to the Hudson, well, eventually drains into the Hudson's Bay. It goes to Lake Winnipeg, Lake Manitoba, and then goes into the Hudson's Bay. Figured we could all just hang out while we meander our way through here. Here's our downtown mall, Portage Place. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> if you have to go to a mall, if you have the option, I would recommend St. Patel Center or even Polo Park Center. Portage Place. Well, come check it out for yourself. Make up your own mind. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Make up your own mind. <laughs> Just remember, you're in Winnipeg, so... Lock your doors, keep your wallet close. Jets game, you have to park like 10 blocks away and walk to the arena and hope not to get robbed on the way. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating that much. I don't think I'm exaggerating that much. So this is the view out my, my windshield today. Bunch of pickups in the east, east of the river this morning. Hey, this guy's got some Timmy's. I want some Timmy's. That's kind of rude. He didn't get me one. Why didn't he get me one? Where'd he get it from? Where's the Timmy's? Oh, it's over there. I can see it off to the left. My eagle eyes spotted Timmy's. There's no way I can get my truck close enough, though. That is just cruel. That is just cruel. Just to sit there staring at me, smiling at me. Not provide any truck parking.
this here on the right. 777. Right where Broadway meets Portage Avenue. Well, they put the 777 sideways for some reason. That's a lucky number. like a long day because the sun was down when we started and it's down again when we ended but as you can see there's still a lot of light in the sky and it's 540 right now a couple of weeks ago it would have been pitch black already good signs you really notice the difference in the length of daylight hours the further north you go each day is different so I just got to pick up some groceries on the way home for the wife. And for myself, I mean, I like to eat too. I guess I really can't speak for all of you guys, but I have this thing about eating. I like to do it every day. Multiple times. So I've got to go and get food so that I can do that. That makes me a happy man. It's just kind of boring going to get it. I hate grocery shopping. It's so boring. Oh, unless if we're getting like uh, snacks. <laughs> Such a weird entrance to this Walmart. Uh, I think I'm gonna park right here. Far away from anyone's doors beautiful all right can you see me we have a list Royale TP one bunch green onion one bag coleslaw mix milk one bag Caesar salad one loaf ancient grains bread see she told me exactly how much of everything to get except for toilet paper and milk she just put it on there I don't know if I'm supposed to get one or 500. I guess she just left that up to our discernment. We'll see how much they have. Is this still that show you were watching yesterday? Yeah, she's just imagining right now. Kind of slipping in and out of consciousness. This is just in her head. Sir Weasel over there. Were you a good boy today? Snoring away. <laughs> how's, re how's retirement going, man? He loves it. Yeah? It's full of pillows and blankets and clean laundry and snacks. Living the life there, bud. Butt yeah. scratches. I mean, what more could anybody want in retirement, really? You weren't it, man. You enjoy that pension. <laughs> I worked hard for that. Passing it. I hope my retirement's as nice as his. Chevy, how about you? You been working hard? Yeah, taking care of the family. Paying yeah. bills. You're not retired, man. This guy is. Well, not quite. He's the commander. He's off duty right now. Wiener's lived a life of leisure. He's never had to get a job. Spoiled little wiener. I'd call you a brat, but your mom would smack me. He's under the blanket here if you can't see him. Can you see my wiener? It's right here. It's actually very much Brit's wiener. Not mine at all. Commander? How's your day, bud? Dude, they're on to us. More and more people are coming out, man. Telling the world. Our day is coming. Diesel, get away from the window. Look at this guy. Tough guy. Come on, you grumpy old man. Go retire over there. Come on, get away from the window. So Diesel, tell me honestly. He's not in here. 
Has the commander been treating you good? Tell me. Dude, man, the guy's telepathic. He knows what we're saying. He knows what we're thinking. I know, it's kind of creepy, right? You get used to it after a while. Well, anyways, this was just a short snippet of my day. If I filmed the entire day, this vlog would be 10 hours long, if not longer. So I try to pick what I think will be most interesting for you every day. So if you got any ideas of what you'd like to see, what you'd like me to talk about, let me know down below in the comment section, and uh, I'll see if we can bring it up in an upcoming video. Always looking for new vlog ideas and new topics to talk about, so I appreciate all the feedback you guys give me. Tomorrow's another day. Let's meet here again, shall we? Same time? Well, maybe not the same time. Same place, though. Right here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it.